Uh, let's get into it, guys. Lamar Jackson, he's been elite in his two career playoff wins with the Ravens averaging 27 points per game and Lamar having just one turnover. However, in the losses, the Ravens averaged just 10 and a half points per game with Lamar having eight total turnovers. Here he is on that loss. Well, I'm not frustrated at all. Um, I'm, I'm angry about, you know, losing. Uh, we're a game away from the Super Bowl. Uh, we've been waiting all this time, all these moments for an opportunity like this, and we fell. Um, but, but I feel like our team, we're going we gonna to build. You know, this offseason is going to get get right, um, get better, grind, and try to be in this position again, but on the other side of victory. There's always going to be questions, comments, opinions. You know, that's, that's just with humans that can speak and have a mouth. That's most people are going to do that day in and day out. So, you know. Who cares? Honestly, that's how I think about it. I really don't really care about the opinions of him nor the team. At the end of the day, he's the leader uh, of this team. Stephen A., are you concerned that Lamar Jackson will be the next great quarterback without a Super Bowl? I think there's a legitimate reason to be concerned. I think that when you look at the Baltimore Ravens, how could it get much better of a chance than this? We saw a Kansas City Chiefs team that did not resemble themselves throughout the year. We saw Joe Burrow go down to injury. We saw Deshaun Watson go down to injury. We saw Tua Tungvaloa and the Miami Dolphins show that when you get them away from South Beach, they can forget how to play physical football. They can get out to play football, at least to the degree that they're capable of doing so. And we saw the Buffalo Bills and, and Josh Allen, their kryptonite is whenever they see Patrick Mahomes in the vicinity, they're ready to run because they just can't find a way to overcome it. So I think when you look at the plethora of situations that exist within the AFC and you take that and you juxtapose that to Baltimore's defense and the weapons that they had offensively, you have the number one seed, you have home field advantage, you don't get it done. Why should I believe there's going to be a better chance than what we just witnessed with Lamar Jackson about to win league MVP, with them being able to run the football, with them being able to throw the football because finally you had receivers to throw it to. It was supposed to be OBJ. It was definitely Zay Flowers. To a lesser degree, it was Nelson Aguilar. Mark Andrews had gotten back. Um, and then the defense held, uh, holds Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs to three points the final three quarters. You look at all of those different things, and I'm just of the mindset – that that was your best. I'm not saying they can't win a Super Bowl because you don't always have to be the best team in order to capture a Super Bowl championship. But I do believe yesterday was their best chance uh, for the foreseeable future. And again, these quarterbacks going to be back. How are you going to give Joe Burrow another chance? Justin Herbert now has Jim Harbaugh. Patrick Mahomes ain't going anywhere. Tua Tagovailoa ain't going to get worse. Josh Allen ain't going to get worse. What's going to happen? The opportunity was missed by the Baltimore Ravens. So it doesn't bother me if somebody says Lamar could be the next great quarterback without a Super Bowl because he'll win two MVPs, but he'll be the only one of the 10 quarterbacks in NFL history with two MVPs that doesn't have a Super Bowl championship. So since you guys are so well versed in basketball, I'm going to bring up some names to you, Stephen A. Charles Barkley. Yep. Uh, Patrick Ewing. Yep. Um... We could go to Carl Malone. Yep. We could go to Stockton. Reggie Miller, That's John right. Stockton. All of those people played when Michael Jordan was in his prime. This is the same sort of problem that the AFC quarterbacks find themselves in when you're looking at Patrick Mahomes and you think about Joe Burrow winning one and having an opportunity to play in the Super Bowl. And then early on in his career, it was Tom Brady who went into Arrowhead and won the AFC championship there. So I think that's a big problem impeding Lamar Jackson and any quarterback in the AFC. And now on the other side of that, it's what makes Lamar Jackson any different than Dak Prescott? What makes Lamar Jackson any different than Tua Tungavaloa right now? Lamar Jackson had an excellent regular season, not for the first time, probably – Every year in his career, we've looked at him during the regular season and said he's one of the best players in football. He's the most dynamic player at the position, the most unique player in all of football. But this year, you do have the number one overall defense. This year, you do have Todd Munkin, which was supposed to expand your game and put you in a different place when it came to a big-time game against a player like Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. To me, this is the worst performance 
by Lamar since he's been a pro when you look at the playoffs and you compare it to who he was during the season. Lamar Jackson didn't show up for his team. Lamar Jackson couldn't overcome Todd Munkin not running the football. Lamar Jackson couldn't overcome Zay Flowers fumbling the football. And if we're going to sit up here last week and talk about what Josh Allen didn't do to win a game against the Kansas City Chiefs Thank and you. the Patrick Thank Mahomes, you. we got to talk Thank about you. Lamar Jackson in Thank the exact you. same way. The Kansas City Chiefs scored 17 points. I know how the game started. I know that they were behind early. But if you're Lamar Jackson in an offense that has been scoring over 30 points a game, you can't now come into the playoffs and not even score half of that. That's on eight. When you think about the Isaiah likely pass late, Lamar Jackson, you have to know to make a better decision. And here is my biggest problem. Lamar Jackson played this game like he was trying to prove to the world he could win a football game in a way that they didn't believe that he could. He doesn't have to prove that. What he has to prove is that he could just win, period. And when Roquan Smith says he's the leader of this team, you got to go lead. They believe in that dude. They're supposed to believe in that dude. And when Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs are at their most vulnerable, you have to go win. And so to me, I am absolutely concerned. I believe he has all the talent in the world to do it. But to this point, this was his best champ, best chance, and he didn't show up, which troubles me. I agree. Um, I'm not as hard on him as you, you guys are. That defense, just, okay, the Baltimore Ravens defense held the uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs to three points. Three points for three and a half quarters. How many did Lamar get? A team that averages 28 points a game, how many did he get? He got three. I believe there's still a ch I believe there's still a chance that Lamar could get to and win a Super Bowl because he has that kind of ability. But in big moments, Lamar Jackson has yet to show up when the team absolutely needs him to. And that's the thing. A lot of times what makes these great quarterbacks historically great. When you take an aspect away, you take the running game away. We've seen Manning. We've seen Brady. We've seen Mahomes. We've seen other great quarterbacks go win those type games. Yes, you are run-reliant team first. But if Lamar Jackson is, is to be believed as what he is, he's got to win this game. You're never probably going to see Kansas City as vulnerable in the, in, in the postseason as you had them coming into this game. They're going to make moves. They're going to get better wide receivers. They're going to get uh, uh, more speed at the linebacker position. This was your best chance. Because, and here's the thing, you mentioned those great players. If I'm a great player, it wasn't like Charles Barkley played back. Stephen, A., you could have tested this. Charles <laughs> yeah. Barkley had a 50-some point game against yeah. Jordan. That's right. He yeah. averaged 30. <laughs> Carl Malone played well. Guys played well. Yeah. We have yet to see Lamar Jackson in big moments when it means to matter, and he's going face-to-face -face with another one play well in the but postseason. Isn't this the Peyton Manning argument? Are yes. we back in that place where we Peyton Manning Peyton. was? We right, killed Peyton. Peyton. We killed Peyton. Peyton Manning was having those MVP seasons. Yep. He was yes. playing extremely well Losing in the regular season. Losing 41 to the Jets. Getting exactly. beat every year by Tom Brady. Yes, we had the same argument, and I made the same argument last night on Nightcap. Until Lamar Jackson quiet the critics. They're going to talk loud, and they're going to get more and more bullhorns, and they're going to speak louder and louder right. because he's about to be a two-time MVP, yep. and we saw what happened come playoff time. Lamar Jackson has a passer rating below 80 in five of the six playoff games he's been in. Now, that is nothing compared to what this man does during the regular season. And so, Correct. again, as I said when I started off the show, when I said there's no other way around, it hurts me to say it, but it's a choke job. What's the definition of choking? It's not if you perform badly. It's when you perform exceptionally until the moment arrives and then you perform badly. Mm -hmm. That Correct. is what epitomizes choking. It's what we saw yesterday. And that's the and, – and, and isn't that the hard part about yeah. evaluating Lamar right now? Because even with it being a low passer rating, Shan, Shannon and, and, and Stephen A., Lamar is so much more than that. But that doesn't mean you have to take away what you do well. It doesn't mean you have to go out and prove to people that I can win football games this way because I've been successful doing it all season. Steve Spagnola said this, Lamar Jackson, you're going to have to beat us from the pocket. You can't you. accept that. 
if you're Lamar Jackson. You can't say, oh, you want to sit me here? I'm going to sit I'm here and I'm going to play football that way. No, put pressure on the defense. That's what you do. I don't care if they got seven defenders, defensive backs. I don't care if they got six. We're not reverting back to where you were your first year against the Chargers. You're the best player in the NFL this year. You got to go show that. You got to go take it. What? Don't. It's okay to revert back to what you're great at. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter if they say, oh, you won the game, but you used your legs again. Who the hell cares? Get to the Super Bowl and win. And what to me, fact, the pressure won. When you watched that game yesterday, Stephen A. and R.C., you know this. Spagnuolo yeah. says, I don't believe you can throw the football from the pocket, and I'm going to heat your ass up. That's right. I mean, they blitzed him over and over and About over and over yeah. and over again because we know you can't throw the football, the football from the pocket consistently. And because you want to prove your critics wrong that you can, you refuse to try to escape and make plays with your legs. So now you help you help the Chiefs Shannon, because so they're scared like to death the, of you getting on the perimeter. Shannon, sorry to cut you off. So you feel like the critics got in his head and he yeah. didn't do what he did best? No. 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 Yeah, it's if Bali. he takes up 15 times, yeah. I ain't got a problem. If Is he got 20 carries, this RC Bali, of somebody just, that shows out in the regular season and you feel like once the bright lights in the playoffs, James come. Harden. Yeah. Yeah, there, there, was, there was a time that James Harden was the greatest scorer in the world, yeah, and there was nothing that you could do with him. And we've seen him in we've seen him in finals games, or right. we've seen him in yeah. clinching games not mm. show up mm. and. It, it, it's it's not the, – the difference is, though, it's not from a lack of want to mm -hmm. for Lamar Jackson. It's not from a lack of, 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 of being prepared. It's in the moment overthinking it. And we have to – and we have to remember this. Football is definitely a team game. And I heard Stephen A. say this in hour one. Zay Flowers scores. This is a different football game. It's 17-14. Now you put pressure on the Kansas City Chiefs. But – we didn't say that when Stefan Diggs dropped the pass last week. Right. We expect our best players to be their yeah. best when it matters most. And the honest truth is Lamar Jackson has not. Yes, you played well in the second half against the Houston Texans. That's not the defending champion, Kansas City Chiefs. And he has to assess that. And he also has to understand, I know he was saying, that they're upset and they're mad because this was the year. Shannon knows this better than anybody. When it's your year, you better win it. But, but win it. When it's your – because that don't – it don't mean you're going to get back yeah. to this position or be the team that is supposed – or the team that's with the stacked roster or the team that's in the better spot. You have to win it now. And Lamar let this team down. No way Stephen around A. it. Go ahead, A. Yeah. Lamar Jackson had two more rush attempts than Patrick Mahomes. Don't make no sense.